In this video, I'll be showing you guys how to fix the unable to verify app error on your iOS device. Now, this error is a prominent issue and it essentially means that your app has been revoked. With this method, it temporarily unblocks the Apple PPQ domain, allowing for seamless verification. Now, the first thing you guys have to do is simply go to this website here. I'll leave it in the description down below. And from here, what you guys are going to do is click on downloads here and then click on config profiles and you're just going to click on the first one here cfdns and it will start to download so click on that here then click allow and then now you have to go into settings to review the profile and then in settings you're obviously just going to click on profile downloaded and then you're just going to have to install the profile here enter in your passcode and then just click on next install install and now if you guys go back into VPN and device management, you'll see CFDNS plus install only under DNS here. And just make sure that it is set to install. If it's not, just quickly set that by turning on airplane mode, switching, and then turning off airplane mode and connecting your internet. And so now all we need to do is just install a revoked app. So you're going to go into Safari and then in Safari, you're going to go to this website. I'll leave a link for this website down below as well. And so now you're just going to completely scroll all the way down until you guys see eSign. So for this video, I'll be doing eSign, but this also works with KSign as well. And each eSign will have text beneath this showing the certificate. So what we need to do is just click on any one of these eSigns here making sure that you guys keep note of which certificate the e-sign is under. And so I'll just click on Chiba Institute of Technology here and then click install. And then just click install here. So now if I go to my home page, you'll see e-sign waiting here. And as you guys can see, e-sign is in fact installing, even though Chiba Institution of Technology is a revoked certificate. And so now if you guys click on the e-sign, it'll say Chiba Institute of Technology has not been trusted on this iPhone. And so now you guys just have to go back into settings and then you guys will just need to trust the certificate here, but you guys will need to restart. So I'll be back when I restart. And now once you guys have restarted, if you guys just go into e-sign, you'll see that it works exactly like how it's intended to. And so if you just click agree here, click agree. You guys can see that this is in fact eSign. You guys can go here, certificate management. And so obviously we don't have any certificates, so we're gonna need to do that next. But just to reiterate, I was using a revoked certificate, Chiba Institution of Technology, one that normally doesn't work. But because of that WSF DNS profile, it was able to get the revoked certificate to work, making this method a 100% success rate for eSign. So even if it's revoked, you guys can do this method. Anyways, you guys are just going to go back into the website, which is this one here. And what you guys are going to do is just scroll all the way up until you guys see download certificate and you're going to need to download these click download. And so now the certificates have been downloaded. So just go into files and now in files, you guys are just going to locate certs and then the developer's name. And so I've done this so many times. I have six different versions of it. So I'll just click on my newest one and to extract it. All you guys have to do is just click on it. And then now you guys can see the certificates and it's broken down into two sections, e-sign and k-sign. So if you guys want, you guys can try this with e-sign or k-sign. It doesn't really matter. Anyways, what you guys are going to do is go back into e-sign. And what we need to do is just import the certificate. So you're going to click on import resource and you're simply just going to locate the certificates folder and then click on e-sign sir and just use the exact same certificate that you used to download eSign. So I did Chiba Institution of Technology. So I'll just click that and then click import and you see imported successfully. And now what we need to do is just check on the certificate here. So if you click on certificate management, you'll see the certificate over here, Chiba Institute of Technology. And so now we just need to go into file click on the three dots at the top, click import. And all we really have left to do is sideload our IPA here. 
So you're gonna tap on the IP. In this video, I'll be doing old OS. If you guys wanna see how to get iOS 4 simulator on your iDevice, then I highly recommend that you guys watch the video on the top right. Anyways, click on the IP here, click import, and you see import it successfully. And now you guys have to go to apps and you see your IPA here. So just tap on the IPA, click on signature, and then click on signature here, and then click on install, click on install. And now it should be installing. And so as you guys can see, it is installing here. So just give it some time. And as you guys can see, old OS has now downloaded. And if you guys click on the old OS app, it works just like it's intended to even with the revoke certificate. And so now all we have left to do is just one crucial step. And that crucial step is to go into settings. You're going to go into general VPN and device management, and then you're going to click on your DNS here. And now we essentially just have to change the DNS from install to literally any of the other two options otherwise the app will get revoked so now to change the dns you're gonna turn on airplane mode to cut off the wi-fi and now i would recommend changing it to something like cf dns config profile plus ub and now you guys can just turn off your airplane mode and just wait for your internet to connect and now if you guys go back into any one of the two apps that you've sideloaded, everything should work just like it does here. As you guys can see, my eSign is working. And if I go into my old OS, my old OS is working as well. And so now all we need to make sure is that when you're installing a new app, you have to go back into settings again and then change it from whatever you have right now to CF DNS plus install only again using the same method like turning on your airplane mode, switching and then turning it off. Otherwise, the specific app that you're installing will not be verified and that app will not work. Also, if you ever forget to change it to install only, just make sure that you guys do it as soon as possible. And then you guys can just go back into VPN and device management and then you can trust the certificate because when you guys do not do install only, it will show something like unable to verify app or integrity cannot be verified. So just go back in and then try reinstalling or if it just says unable to verify app or in the settings app every time you click verify nothing happens then you guys can just go and change it to install only anyways i hope this video helped if it did please leave a like and subscribe if you guys want to see more videos like this then make sure you guys leave a comment down below and thanks for watching